What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. We all have been wondering where is the Mr. Olympia People's Champ, Hadi Chopin, of course. Hani Rambod explained his status like a month ago that he is taking care of his business, taking this time to make sure that his body is rested and recovered for the next season. And today, Hadi Chopin posted a physique update that this marks the starting point of his prep for the Olympia. And he looks pretty damn good. We all know Hadi and his coach went for conditioning at the pre-judging of this past Olympia and they realized that this show is going in a different direction and in the final they decided to come in fuller and he was as impressive as anyone can be and quite frankly out of the top three guys him, Big Remy and Brendan Carey he was the most conditioned guy in the final call out. And if he was awarded first place, I don't think a lot of people would have complained. Do you guys think that Hadi Chopin can move up from third place this year? Because there are younger guys like Nick Walker and Hunter Labrada on his tail. And both of them have already fired up all cylinders. I think they still have a lot of work to do before they catch Hadi. Because he too has been improving every year. Arnold Classic Peak Week is here. And here is Regan Grimes posing for the legends. Jay Cutler. Dennis Wolf and obviously his coach Milos. Legs are looking dry, upper body definitely full as compared to his last progress picture. He is still on very low carbs right now. So we have to wait till show day because only that half hour on stage matters. As far as Milos's expectations from Regan are concerned, for this Arnold Classic, he himself stated that he can either be in the top three or out of the top five. I was a big fan of uh, Regan's physique from uh, you know first time I saw him. Yeah, and uh, you know, like you said, if he puts enough muscle, he's going to be very hard to beat. He is as, as aesthetic as you can be. We all know Milos is a big fan of Regan's physique. But him saying that if Regan gets a chance to stand next to Brendan Carey and gets compared, he might give him a run for his money. That statement, in my opinion, is a little far-fetched and unrealistic. Aesthetically, yeah. He should stand next to Brandon Curry. Of course. You know, so if uh, he's uh, full and, and dry, you know, can he beat him? I, I don't know, but he's going to give him run for the money. And I believe most of you guys would agree with me, at least for now, because bodybuilding isn't just about aesthetics. It's about size and freak factor as well. And Regan lacks both right now in comparison to the top guys. Max Charles looks dry and ripped right now. He isn't tagging Dennis Wolf in his pose, so we have no idea whether he is still working with him or not. When he did Arnold last year all by himself, it didn't go very well for him, as he placed outside of top 6. Let's see what he can offer this time. And we all saw some great packages from him in 2021. And he was definitely 
in the best shape of his career with Milos as his coach. The comparison is from Fernando's IG page. Justin's last physique update till show day is here and him and coach are extremely pleased with how things are looking right now. He was fourth at the Arnold last year and I think Justin is at that point in his career where he is tired of being underrated. He's conditioned, he is huge and really try to get ignored this time. He is doing Boston Pro Show after the Arnold and looks like he is doing Indie Pro as well in May. In classic, Terence Ruffin just keeps getting impressive. He is so complete. His posing is perfect. He has one of the best pair of legs in that division. Plus, he can stay full and conditioned in the weight making process. So his fullness isn't compromised on stage. If you guys have followed Brian Ansley's prep before, you know he always looks spot on. But how much damage will he be able to sustain by losing another 7 pounds? Let's see what happens in one week time. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.